Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Here's a little bit of Remember Me. Why is this not a WTF is, you might ask? Well, in the embargo for this game, it says you may not use more than 10 minutes of footage. This is the first time I've ever seen that. So I'll be waiting until the game actually comes out and this embargo no longer applies for me to give you the full video. In the meantime, let me give you what I can in 10 minutes. So, Remember Me is a new title published by Capcom, a bit of original IP, and it is essentially a third-person action game. And it's very much a kind of cyberpunk-esque game in an augmented reality version of Paris. And you are a memory hunter who was taken into custody, had her memory wiped, is trying to regain her memory, all the while fighting the cause of so on and so forth, blah blah blah. So let's have a little word with this guy, shall we? And then I can talk a little bit about the game. Neil and the Hunter, I'm your biggest fan. Thanks. I've already scouted a route. It's not the first time I've been shopping in the land of the rich. I'm looking for the architect's offices. Everything's in here. An hour ago, I memorized the ideal path to avoid the surveillance drones. You just need to take it. It's an incredible honor to get opened up by the best. Like having your autograph. You done? Did you get everything? Yes. Follow my past. A trail of remembrance with everything you'll need to get past the drones through the Comfortress, all the way to Kauri Sheridan. I've sprinkled the route with Memo Boys, anchored just so. They'll tell you when to activate my remembrance. And I appreciate the fact that you didn't siphon my head. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you might wipe our encounter. <laughs> Remember you soon. Alright, there we go. Okay, so, obviously that took a lot of time, but it would be nice to kind of give you a little bit of story as much as I can here. So, in this case, it looks like we're going to be taken down this particular corridor by this guy and his memory specifically. Now, as to what this game actually is, it is a third-person action game. It has some platforming elements, it's got some combat, and it's got what are the so-called memory remix segments, which involve going into somebody's memory and changing it in order to get the desired outcome. That is very clearly the coolest part of this game. Unfortunately, according to the reviewer's guide that I was given by Capcom, there are only four of these in the entire game game. I've already done one of them. It wasn't exactly particularly lengthy. Alright. Tap to synchronize information while holding the left bumper. Okay. There we go. There's a lot of weird funky mechanics like this within the game that allow you to remember very specific pieces of information and so on and so forth. It looks like we're going to be getting into a fight pretty shortly here. These guys generally will instantly attack you. Now, some people might remember these guys from a rather infamous piece of footage that was done over the trailer where it's like, It's her, the escaped memory hunter! And the voice acting is probably about that bad. It's actually very, very strange that the voice acting would be so all over the place, but it does tend to happen every once in a while. The main character has a great voice actress behind her, and most of the main characters do, but a lot of the side characters sound really odd, which is very, very strange indeed. Alright, now, the combat system is pretty basic. You may remember from some of the preview footage that was a so-called combo lab, and yes, there is indeed. It looks something like this. This allows you to customize your combo. However, while this allows you to customize a combo, it also very much limits you to what you can actually do in combat. I only actually have two combos right now, a couple of hours into the game, and apparently there's about four in total. So, if you don't do these combos, then you just barely do any damage whatsoever. So, the two attacks I've got are XXX and YXYXY. Now, I can customize them with so-called presents, and what they allow you to do is to pick from various different things. Like, they're, they're all kind of the same thing except they, they look different, as you can see. So that one's like a double fist punch, that's a little slap around the ear, flying kick, and so on and so forth. Now, as far as I know, based on these, they I don't think they really do any 
they don't do a different amount of damage, but they increase damage depending on how far they are down in the combo chain. You can see the base damage bonuses that are going on right there. Currently, I have three different kinds of presence. I believe there's a fourth, and by putting these into the combo chain allows you to do different things. This reduces my cooldown on my ultimate. These regenerate health. Admittedly, these are actually kind of useless because... I don't take any damage in this game, which is really kind of ridiculous. I'm going to actually knock that out of the combo there, I think. There we go. Put it on there. So that, that combo will now do a little bit of extra damage. I've gotten rid of one of the regen ones simply because you don't really take damage in this game unless you're not paying attention. This is on the hardest difficulty. I turned it up because I was like, well, this game is actually really, really easy. And... It hasn't really convinced me otherwise at this stage. Even on the hardest difficulty, getting hit in combat really simply involves not paying attention. Everything is telegraphed, very much in the style of Batman Arkham City, which is very clearly what this game is trying to ape, or at least Batman Arkham Asylum. It's way more linear than City is. And you end up in a situation where everything is telegraphed with this big, big message above the head. And it's like, hey, watch out, because you're going to get hit by this. And then when you hit A, instantly interrupts your combo, does a dodge, which works pretty much 100% of the time. And at that point, it's like, well, that was, that was super simple. Ridiculously simple, in fact. All right. Let us synchronize our memories and so on and so forth. It's actually kind of disappointing, because the game consists of the platforming and consists of that as well. Oh. Screwed that up completely. I'm not really sure how that ended up happening. I think, oh, I hit trigger instead of button. That was pretty stupid. Well, I mean, I guess I can probably just go ahead anyway. Oh, what? do I have to do it again? All right, let's give it one more shot. There we go. Synchronize the memories together. The combat is, as I said, a little bit... It's very simple and very, very easy. I mean, if you have any experience in these kind of third-person brawlers, then you're not going to have any problems whatsoever. But in this case, you don't even have to worry about that because it is just that easy. And then the platforming, it tells you exactly where to go. You see those orange arrows? Well, you'd think on the hardest difficulty you'd turn that off. It doesn't turn it off. It is on all the time. So you will know exactly where to go because the game will tell you. So if you wanted any challenge from the platforming, you're not going to get it here. Now, I personally don't care about that because I don't like platforming, but I know a lot of people do. And since that's a significant part of the game, it's very, very problematic to have all of that stuff just handed to you on a silver platter, even on the hardest difficulty level. Very, very strange indeed. Interesting, it looks like there's going to be a hidden item around here somewhere. Now, the game very much... Oh, really? I got covered in water, so I'm going to do that? Really? Okay. The game very much says that it's about brawling and exploration and platforming, but the ex exploration is extremely limited. I've been through several really cool areas that I really wanted to check out and see if there was anything in interesting around the area, but there really isn't. I mean, there's barely anything to actually collect, so it doesn't really matter. The only thing that you can collect, it would seem, aside from little pieces of side lore, is health boosters, which will increase your overall health. Not that that really matters, because you never get hit anyway. And then, so many areas that look like they could be explored with parkour or something along those lines, well, can't be. I mean, this is definitely not Assassin's Creed, even though you see these parkour elements. It is actually a very linear action brawler platform or whatever exactly it is that you actually want to call it. Hello. This is going to get really interesting, isn't it? And it seems like it's a really amazing world. And it's got some really cool ideas, like all of this stuff, all this augmented reality stuff that you find in the walls is really cool. And then you end up in some great places with some amazing music. I mean, the themes in the game are incredible. The actual music is almost second to none. It's a great mixture of these big orchestral sweeps and this cyberpunk-esque futuristic stuff. It's really, really cool. And the world is great as well, but I don't get to explore it. I'm on very much a, a set of rails in terms of what I can do. I mean, it's way more limited even than Bioshock Infinite because there just aren't that many different places to actually explore. It, it, it's like, I really want to go to these places, but I can't because the game doesn't let you. I mean, you can barely jump unless it's to specific places. Unless there's an orange arrow, you can't jump on anything. You can only, like, jump about half a foot in the air. It's... Anyway, I'm running out of time. This is what happens when you limit someone to 10 minutes, I guess. I'll be back with a full WTF is once the embargo is actually 
come up and I'll talk about the PC port. I'll talk about pretty much everything and get a little bit further on in the game for you. But there is a little look of what Remember Me actually is right now. My name is Total Biscuit. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.